VS Code, hint, tip, and trick of the week. Which one do we have this week? Um, well, it's Adobe Fusion Builder extension for VS Code. Very so cool. it, Much they, uh, awaited. Yeah, they what, launched this in July at yep. the uh, Dev Week. Yep. Uh, you know, go ahead, Gavin. I was going to say, they. Uh, I'm sharing my screen, but yeah, they, they announced this. Uh, Mark Takata used it for a long time. They did a beta, but they've had a couple of sessions using it. So the Adobe Developer Week is a great place to go look and uh, find out more about it. So um, they released some videos there from basically presenting them using it, all the work throughs, and there's a lot in this. I was surprised how much it does. So um, we can automate repetitive tasks, navigate code for a smoother process, enjoy built-in IntelliSense code completion, better semantic code understanding and code refactoring, identify security vulnerabilities and maintain integrity of your code, manage your work with extensions, remote project support, integrated server management, log viewer, and more, and customize every feature, you know, by creating shortcuts, etc. formatting, reusing code. Um, but yeah, if we scroll down, you'll see the Cold Fusion server panel is in here. You've got RDS. So those who loved RDS and Eclipse, they now have it inside of um, VS Code. And they've got the, the PMT, the performance management tools, the code profiler report, and then the security analyzer report, code assist, so you've got nice completion, code refactoring, so you can actually uh, rename and re uh, rename it, and then everywhere that uses it can be redone. They've got quick fix options, a lot more, but uh, they have a little link here, and I think Daniel's already shared it. Uh, this is sort of a, a good example. Like They've got all these blog posts, all this code and demonstration, um, and it looks pretty neat. Now, I know that um, in the beta, there was a few people having issues getting it up and running. So um, basically, you need to just go get it out. Uh, I know a lot of people are being using it, testing it, and um, tweaking it. But um, yeah, so let us know if you guys have any feedback on it. Uh, I know some people are struggling to get it to work with certain things using Command Box and then Cold Fusion, and they're trying to get it to connect and, and stuff. A lot of people are using just traditional installs. So... A lot with it, you know, obviously it's still the, the first version release, so um, giving them some feedback, but it's really exciting to see them do that and, you know, move away from Eclipse and VS Code's where it's at, right? And it's good to see them supporting, you know, standards, right? So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that, so. Yeah, and there is a, a VS Code session at Into the Box, or I'm sorry, at CF Summit. Uh, you cannot go to it, Gavin, because it's unfortunately during your time slot. Oh well, but we'll there is a uh, sneak peek into Cold Fusion Builder on VS Code. Yep, very cool. And I'm sure Mark Takata is going to be doing some more sessions on it and his uh, his little live streams or something as well. Um, but yeah, I know that they're all using it, so I'm excited. So go check it out. Give us your feedback and then uh, report back. That was our VS Code hint, tip, and trick of the week. Brought to you by Modernizer Die Podcast, CFML News Edition, proudly sponsored by Order Solutions. You can see the new episodes every week on cfmlnews.modernizerdie.io or on the Order Solutions YouTube channel.